Here's that Royal Enfield Interceptor Series 2 750 engine coming along quite nicely. And earlier today, uh, the guy who did the blasting and painting of the uh, cylinder heads and barrels, only the barrels were painted obviously, um, <clears throat> was passing by so he dropped the stuff in. The rocker covers are done as well actually but um, I've had these off because I've been removing the old valve guides because the valves and guides need replacing but I thought I'd get them blasted first as that would get any carbon out of the ports and from around the um, exhaust valve guides and possibly make them easier and cleaner to get out. So um, before I put everything back together what I've got to do as well is I want to um, get the pressure washer set up and just blast through all the internal openings and passageways and everything with the pressure washer just to make sure that there's no grit or anything lurking in there because there was a bit, I've blown quite a bit out already with the compressed airline but um, that tends to scatter stuff around and leave stuff behind so uh, a good blast, blast with the uh, pressure washer will finish it off nicely um, the cylinder barrels have been blasted and painted in heat resistant silver they look almost identical to the barrels actually and I cleaned the crankcase crankcases up uh, myself internally and externally uh, I didn't want to use I didn't want to get them blasted just in case of the possibility of um, some particles of stuff getting left in an oil way somewhere I just didn't think it was worth it so I used uh, my hands and cloths and clutch and brake cleaning solvent etc to get them looking pretty presentable the whole thing looked like it had been dredged out of a canal when it arrived here uh, it's a hell of a lot better than that now and I've got um, well piston rings valves and guides on their way they're probably gonna show up tomorrow get the pistons and barrels on next and then finish off with the cylinder heads I had one of these um, studs was uh, sheared off actually this one sheared off not only flush but below flush with the face of the cylinder head uh, rocker face and um, so I had to carefully get a center punch in there and uh, I used the rocker cover bolted on as a guide for the drill bit and managed to drill through and heli coil and fit a replacement stud there so that's all good and ready to go and like I say, tomorrow we'll be attacking them with the pressure washer, then get the new valves and guides in, and we'll be on home straight with it all. There we are, that's where we're at with the Series 2 Interceptor engine at the moment.